Le diabète est devenu presque une épidémie dans le monde d'aujourd'hui. Le diabète est un trouble qui affecte la façon dont votre corps utilise la nourriture pour l'énergie. Quel que soit le sucre que nous prenons, il est généralement décomposé en sucre simple appelé glucose dans notre corps. Le diabète peut être défini comme l'excès de glucose dans le sang. Ce glucose circule dans le sang pour pénétrer dans des cellules à l'aide de l'insuline. L'insuline est une hormone faite dans les cellules bêta du pancréas. En raison de style de vie sédentaire et une prédisposition génétique, les cellules bêta ne sont pas en mesure de produire suffisamment d'insuline, qui est une clé pour le glucose de pénétrer dans les cellules. C'est ce qu'on appelle le diabète. With even all the tools, all the latest technologies that we have, the lifestyle disorders we term it, the non-communicable diseases, they are rising. If we see at the report of the surveys which have been done by the WHO, In the year 2003, the World Health Organization survey report says, I'm talking about diabetes, right? 194 million people throughout the globe were suffering from diabetes at that time. And at that time, India was the leader as far as diabetes was concerned. Now, at that time, the WHO, they also projected that by year 2025, the world population of diabetics will be 333 million people with diabetes. Now, recently, in this year itself, 2016, the WHO has presented or has put uh, the survey back again. They have done a survey recently in 2015. And in that uh, survey, they happen to see that uh, The figure of 2014 was already above this 333, which was to be a figure which was to be for 2025. So we had already blown. It is perhaps, if I'm not mistaken, some 425 million people already. So we had already blown the uh, diabetes has become a pandemic and it is not initially it was thought that it is a disease of the rich of the people who are eating uh, lavishly and taking uh, food too much less of exercise etc but now we can see even in the lesser developed countries it is rampant throughout the globe le diabète type 1 ou mellitus aussi appelé diabète juvénile ou diabète insulinodépendant est dû à la destruction auto-immunitaire des cellules productrices d'insuline du pancréas. Le diabète sucré ou type 2, également appelé diabète de l'adulte ou diabète non insulinodépendant, est caractérisé par une résistance à l'insuline et à une carence. Cependant, la cause est principalement due aux habitudes de vie comme l'augmentation du stress, la sédentarité, une mauvaise alimentation ainsi que la génétique. In Mauritius, the Ministry of Health, the NCD unit, they did a survey in year 2015, that is last year. And we see that the, the, the trend of diabetic in Mauritius, it is 20.5% of the population, they are diabetic. Now, out of these 20.5 who are diabetic, we have got another group of people who are yet to develop the diabetes. They are pre-diabetic, right? And when we see the picture, the facts which are available, 19.4% of the population, they are pre-diabetic. So here is where Ayurveda come into play. We can revert back the etiopathogenesis that is a disease process, we can revert it back. 
And that is what we are doing since the last 10 years. So we are taking all these patients who are in pre-diabetic. Now, the problem again arises, how to know that you're in pre-diabetic stage? Suppose you're suffering from a pain, you're having a headache, you're having any problem which you're suffering, it is giving you some, some problem. You turn to the health facilities, but unlike in pre-diabetes, it is symptomless. Many times you don't get anything. Right. So the patient doesn't know. He doesn't turn to the uh, hospitals or to the area health centers, etc. So now what happens is that the ministry has to go to the mass to do survey, to catch them, to screen them. So the work is heavier. Right? But Ayurveda, it has the beauty to diagnose the patient in early stage, pre-diabetic pre stage. So making use of those tools, of the group of signs and symptoms, we are able to diagnose the patient that you may be the one who should go for a screening test. So we are already getting a very uh, big group of patients who are in pre-diabetic and we are following. And we happen to see that many of these patients have reverted back to normal. L'Ayurveda prévoit une série de plantes, d'épices et d'herbes qui sont aujourd'hui longuement étudiées par des paramètres modernes et aussi par des universitaires, des centres de recherche et des chercheurs. Ces plantes ont été décrites dans les textes sanscrits très anciens en tant que solution à base de plantes ayurvédiques pour le diabète. One of the medicinal plants which is available in Mauritius and which can be used for this, this type of disorders, it is haldi. Second, now people are becoming aware of and they are coming to know about the plant, it is amla. And there are other plants which people know less, but which we are now introducing, it is methi. People in Mauritius, we make use of the seed of methi, but we don't make use of the bhaji, the plant itself. Methi, it is a plant, a medicinal plant, which has a virtue to decrease the blood sugar level. And at the same time, it is having plenty of uh, fibers. It is very good for joint pains also.